Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to replace particular values in a data frame in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you will see that at the top right of our studio a new data frame object appears. And if you click on this data object, you will see that a new window appears, which is showing the structure of our data. So as you can see, our data frame consists of five rows and four columns, x1, x2, x3 and x4, whereby the first column x1 is a numeric column, the second and the third column consist of characters and the fourth column is a factor. So Let's assume that we want to replace all the letters A in our data frame by the character string XXX. Then it makes a lot of sense to replicate our data first so that afterwards we have our original data frame stored in a data object and we also have our updated data frame stored in a different data object. So for that reason, I'm replicating our original data frame in line 8 of the code. So after running this line of code, you will see that a new data object with the name data1 appears at the top right. And at this point, this data object is consisting of exactly the same values as our original data. Now, if we want to replace all the letters A in our data frame by the character string XXX, then we can apply the code as you can see in line 9. So after running this line of code, we can have a look at our data object data1. And as you can see, all the letters AAA were replaced by the character string XXX. So as you have seen, the replacement of character strings in a data frame is relatively simple and the same type of code could also be applied to numeric values. However, in case you want to replace a value in a factor column, it gets a bit more complicated. And this is what I'm going to show you next in the next example. And for this example, we are again replicating our data as the first step. So if you run line 11 of the code, you will see that another data object with the name data2 is appearing at the top right. And again, this data object is consisting of the same values as our original data frame. And now let's assume that we want to replace the factor value F2 by the character string or by the new factor level Y, Y, Y. Then if we would apply the same type of code as we did in example one, you will see that a warning appears at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this warning is actually telling you that an invalid factor level was created and for that reason the previous R code was inserting an A values to our data frame. So let's see what happened by clicking on the data object. So now you can see that every F2 value in our original data frame was replaced by an, an A value. So an A stands for not available. So this is of course not what we want. And for that reason, we would have to apply the code a little bit differently. So first I'm again replicating our data in the data object data2. And then we have to do a step in between, which is we have to convert our factor column x4 to a character first. And this can be done by applying the as character function, as you can see in line 15 of the code. So if you run this line of code, the column x4 will be a character instead of a factor. Then we can apply exactly the same as we did before, but this time we are not receiving a warning message because now our factor was converted to a character. Yeah, and then as last step, we can convert our column x4 back to the factor class by applying the as factor function. And now if you have a look at our data frame, you will see that our factor column x4 is consisting of the same values as before, but the values F2 were replaced by Y, Y, Y.
Yeah, so this is basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more on the replacement of certain values in a data frame in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications whenever I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.